How many teams you worked out with, and did was today's workout different than some of the others? Uh, this is my fourth one. Um, kind of the same stuff, you know, shooting, running up and down, playing three and three, one on one stuff. So, you know, it's pretty good. Okay, unprompted, you're the first one not to mention altitude. So, did the altitude factor in at all? Uh, not really. I've been over here to Denver and Utah a few times, so I've been kind of used to it um, when I was younger, and you know, really just try to work out because I knew coming here, you know, the altitude was gonna you know, hurt some guys. I wanted to try and set myself apart on that one. What's uh, more competitive, these workouts or just practice when you were in college? <laughs> I probably have to say college practices. You know, going up against nine All Americans every day is pretty intense. So. How is that experience, just playing against that you know, level day in and day out? How's that going to get you ready for the NBA? It's going to help a lot. You know, going to an NBA team, you're on a team full of guys that, you know, in high school they was a man, in college they was a man. So, you know, now you just got to go and, you know, play your spot. So I think that's going to help me out a lot. Is there a, a pack to hope uh, who goes first? Is there uh, kind of an agreement between all the, the Kentucky guys of uh, you know, kind of betting who goes ahead of who? No, not really. Uh, we all know Carl's probably going to go before all of us. So, <laughs> you know, nobody's really no After talked. After that, though? Yeah, nobody's really talked about it. You know, I think everybody's going to be happy to get drafted. So, what, what does life get like for you guys? Just just trying to understand what you go through. You're, you're on your own now. You're not a part of a team. You get an agent. And you go out and you kind of shop yourself around a little bit. Is it it's exciting? A little bit, you know, intimidating at the same time? Uh, it's exciting for me. You know, since I was a young kid, this is what I wanted to do. And you know, now to be able to come out here and you know actually work out for an NBA team is is crazy. You know, uh, you know it's been a whirlwind the last couple of years. And you know, now to be in the position I'm in, I'm just I'm just thankful and blessed. And, you know, let's go out there and try to work hard and work and do everything I can to make it to where I want to be. With Quinn Snyder, this is his first time doing these kind of pre-draft workouts. Do you, do you notice, like, a real young enthusiasm in him, just a second-year head coach? Uh, for sure. You know, he came out on the court. He was telling me things and, you know, talking to me, and uh, I appreciate that. And it just shows that he has enthusiasm about the game and he has enthusiasm about the guys, so that's a good thing. Would Utah be a, a desirable landing spot for you? Uh, it'd be nice. You know, like I said, I'd be thankful to get drafted wherever I go, so. You look at the lineup, you look at the roster, you see yourself as being a fit here. Obviously, they're looking for another big. Uh, definitely. You know, there's a team that plays for one another, a team that plays together. And I think that, you know, I'm a team first guy, so, you know, I'll be able to fit in. When you look at some of the projections and you're right there at that 12 spot, a lot of, a lot of mocks have you going there. Does that put a little extra emphasis on some of these workouts where it's actually realistic? That you, uh, you know, I really don't try to pay attention to it. Um, I just try to come out here in every workout that I have and work as hard as I can and uh, show the people on the team and um, the coaches and managers and stuff that you know I'm capable of playing at the level and I have skills that you know that are going to be able to translate. What are your, your uh, biggest strengths you think that you can bring to a team like the Jazz? Um, just knowing how to play the game, uh, being a smart player, team first, like I said. Um, a guy that can come in and make an instant threat on offense and defense and a guy that just does whatever the coach needs from him. Did you ever work out with Gordon Hayward? Uh, no, I didn't. He's, he's a few years older than yeah. I am. So. Do you still live in Indianapolis? I do. I still live in Indianapolis. Do you ever play with him, pick up or anything? No, like I, I never have. Um, actually, uh, Josh McRoberts uh, invited me to do some workouts with them uh, this summer. And uh, he said Gordon was going to be there, so maybe I'll be able to. How big is Gordon still in Indiana? Indiana? Um, you know, he's from a different area than I am. So, you know, we, we talk about different people from you know, each spot. So. Are there parts of your game you didn't really get to show when you were in Kentucky, just considering how deep and rotated minutes so much? Uh, for sure. You know, there's a lot of versatility in my game I didn't get to showcase, and it's just because the team didn't need it from me. And, you know, I really didn't complain about it because, you know, we were winning 38-0. There's nothing you can say. So, <laughs> you know, uh, just coming to another level, you know, I'll be able to show the coaches and stuff what, what I wasn't able to show them in school. But what are some of those things? Uh, just being a playmaker, you know, uh, with the ball and without the ball, just, you know, um, making plays for myself and, and for the teammates and just more of my versatility on the perimeter on the post. Matt Dean Harrell was here uh, last week. He said that you and him like work out together a lot. What's it been like working out with him? Uh, it's great. You know, we challenge each other. He's a great defensive player, and he, you know, he's working on his offensive game. He's gotten a lot better from when we was um, for how long we've been together uh, working out up in Cleveland. And you know, he's a competitor. I'm a competitor. So you know, we go after and we get after each other, and you know, we just make each other better. Is it weird going against the Louisville guy in that regard? Uh, not at all. You know, we out of school now, so you know, it really didn't matter to me, and you know, we was just both trying to get better. Do those rivalries die then when this uh, whole process comes in about where you guys are both fighting for NBA um, spots? I think it's still a rivalry there, but we understand that there's you know something bigger at hand besides that. So you know, it's just good for both of us.
How was your matchup with Miles today? Uh, it was good. You know, uh, went hard against each other, competed, so it was a good thing. Are you trying to show something against him, knowing that you know he is the, the other big kind of slated in, in that location in the draft? Um, you know, I just try to go out here and, and do what I could, um, play to the best of my ability, and show you know the coaches and the team what I can do. It doesn't matter who's on the court with me. That's what I'm gonna do. When you look at the NBA level, is there someone at that level who you'd like to become? Someone you look up to from a skill level? Uh, no. You know, I want to set myself apart and be different. So there's not one guy that I want to be like.